Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in our previous video, we already started discussion on FOST, which is a very widely used framework for stream processing using Python programming language, right? So today let's continue the discussion on FOST only. This is our lecture two on this particular framework. And if you have not seen our previous video, where we covered the fundamentals, that is, suppose we are having a Kafka topic and they are the producer are producing the messages, then how from this topic using first application, we can consume the message and print in the console. That we understood in our previous video. That concept is very important to understand today's topic, what we are going to discuss. If you have not checked that, I will request you to go through that particular video first because that concept will surely help you to understand today's discussion in a detail way. Okay, so today we are going to discuss the complex types in FOST and how to produce messages to a particular topic using FOST. Okay, so why we need that? Let us try to understand first and then we will switch to the lab section, right? So suppose here we are having our Kafka topic. So this is basically our input topic, okay? In the left hand side, the producer is producing data and publishing in this input topic in real time. Now here we are having our first application, right? Now this first application is consuming the data in real time from this input topic that is basically here the input stream is coming. First application is consuming that and in the output side what it is doing? It is writing in a separate Kafka topic after processing that input stream. So this side it is basically output stream and this is another topic, right? Now I hope you can understand from this simple diagram that we understood how to consume the messages from input stream to our first application and how to print in the console. But the end goal for the first application is after transformation, writing the data in a particular topic, right? So that part we need to understand how using first application we can produce the message. Because if you consider this particular part, here first application is writing the data in a topic. That means first application is acting like a producer. Already we understood how first application act like a consumer, right? Because in the left hand side, you can see in this part, it is acting like a consumer. Because first application is consuming the messages or input stream in real time. So consumer part we understood, we need to understand the right hand side or the producer part for the first application. And as well as we will understood how to process complex JSON data in first. Okay, right? So what we are going to discuss, I hope it is clear to you. Now, without any further delay, let us directly jump into the lab section. Cool. So here I will go to my notepad. Here I have written the codes to start zookeeper, brokers, etc. Let me execute them one by one. So here I am in my PyCharm. First, I will paste this code to start zookeeper. Let it start. And then here I will start the Kafka broker in a new terminal. And then here we are creating the Kafka topic. So here if you see this particular architecture, here we are consuming the data from an input topic and we will try to write in an output topic, right? So two topics are required. So here I am creating two topics. One topic name is hello world, which is basically our input topic and the output topic is send greetings, okay? What is that? I will discuss, no need to worry. As of now, you just think that we are going to create two different topics, okay? So here I will open a new terminal and I will paste that first code and I will copy that second code also to create the output topic. The topic name is send greetings. Okay, right. So here the topic is also created. Fine. Now here what we did, this code already we discussed in detail in our previous video. We are creating the application pointing to our Kafka broker which is running in localhost 9092. Here raw data we are consuming basically string data only and Hello world is basically our input topic name. That's what we have created here. If you see from this topic, input stream will be consumed by our first application. Okay. So here using this particular decorator, we are configuring the processor part or basically this is acting like consumer, which is consuming the real time stream from this topic, right? And here we are iterating and printing the message as simple as that. Let me just run this and show you once. So here what I will do, I will start the first application, but before that I need to start the producer also. I will open comment prompt and here I will paste the producer code. So for producing messages in our input topic, we can use this code, Kafka console producer dot bat file and I can hit an enter. 
and here see that angle bracket came that means I can write the messages now let me start the first application so to start the first application we need to execute this code that is first hyphen a application main is the python code name and here log information we want to print for the worker right so here I will just do that and if you see our code name is n.py only so let it start and here if you see that first it will throw some error and then it will try to connect and see worker is ready so here if I pass hello world okay here it should be coming received hello world why it is coming because here we added the print statement received and here we are printing the message as simple as that so that means this application is perfectly working now I will close this application by pressing ctrl c it is aborted now if you see here this particular one because that is basically kind of first discussion on our first application so we took a very simple string type data but in our practical scenario in real world it can be a complex json data or etc right so how to work with that that is this point if you see processing complex types in first how to do that let us try to understand first okay right so here what you can do you can create a class where you can define the data types for your complex structure right for example here i can write a class and you can give any class name so here what demo i am going to show you that is suppose the input data will be containing two key value pair okay one is basically from name another one is to name from which person i want to send a greeting to which person kind of that if you think so i can create a class which will define how our input json structure will look like so there are two things should be coming in json one is from name one is to name from which person the greeting should be going to another person like that if you think a greeting application we are creating so here the class i can create with the same name greeting but you can use any name not a problem so class greeting and here the very important point is you have to write false dot record okay that is basically indicating that your value what your first will be consuming that can have this kind of data what we are going to define here so first dot record and then here only we can define what is the serializer type so here we are working with json so i can write the serializer okay equal to json cool and here i can give a colon and here i can define a number of key value pair so as i told you that in our input stream one will be suppose from name and that will be string type and to which person i want to send the greeting that is also string type okay so here we defined a complex data now the change should be if you see here when we are creating the topic object input topic name is same not a problem value type so what kind of value we are going to handle earlier we use string type but this time the value should be a json and that json should be this kind of structure right so here i will pass the class name that way value type will be basically object and that will be following this structure for this class as simple as that and value serializer we no need to provide because here already we have given serializer equal to json okay right so here topic we created for our complex data and then here print let it do but what i will do that i can make a good print statement that is output tf okay output after transformation if you think like that way so f and then here i can write greeting from to this okay so greeting from so message is basically our object for this particular class so message then within message here we will be having two key value pair right so here if you see that the topic we are creating with this kind of data we are expecting in value and that value is nothing but coming in the message when we are iterating an input stream in the message part the value is containing right so message will be also following this kind of structure so from message you can use dot method to extract a particular value corresponding to a key right so in that message from name should be there so here message dot from name i can provide and then same thing i can copy and here paste it and then here i can write to name okay that is greeting from the from name what will be passing to to name what will be passing as simple as that just we are drafting a sentence that's all okay and then here i can print that same thing 
and then here I can write output TF and then I can remove this particular print statement not at all required. So here we have created a complex data type as simple as that. I hope you are getting it. Now what I will do, I will save this and I will start this application. So here it is started. Now here, now I need to pass a JSON data which will be having from underscore name as one key. Maybe here I can give from name is ABC and then here to name is another key and the value part will be DEF. Okay. And I will hit an enter. So see here beautifully it is printing this greeting from ABC to DEF. So from which person we are sending a greeting that is ABC is the person name. So here ABC is coming. Then to, to which person we want to send the greeting that is DEF. So here it is com coming perfectly and how this sentence is getting generated. It is basically generated based on this particular string formatting, right? So from that input message, I am extracting from key and to key. That's all and I am printing. Now we understood how to process complex type in first. Obviously you can explore the documentation to make more complex structure. Now here as of now we are just printing. But first application is not just for printing logs in console. We need to send the processed or transformed data or message to a output topic, right? So that output topic will be creating and this greeting sentence will be sending to that particular topic. Okay. So I will press control C and I have basically dropped the first application. Now here what I will do here I can give the name of this topic as input topic so that we can easily understand and don't get confused. So if we are giving input topic so here instead of this topic here we need to pass input topic in the decorator because for the stream in input topic this code has to be executed and following that same way I will be creating an output topic okay and then here the output topic name what is that that is basically this one send greeting so here that formatted sentence we are passing to this output topic value type we can pass string only and value serializer what we discussed earlier that only I am keeping that is raw string type data we are passing because anyway as, as we have seen that the output data is string type only and then here what we will do just like our Kafka Python producer, we have to use dot send method to publish the data as simple as that. Okay. So here I will write output topic that is basically our object for output topic dot send. Okay. And then here we need to mention what data we want to send. So the value what we want to send is basically output TF. The sentence we want to send to the output topic. And because all things are asynchronous type, so here I need to give await. Okay, so it will wait for sending this message and like that it will be processing. So what is happening in this code? First using this line, we are consuming the data from the input stream and then the first application is processing that and then publishing in an output topic or it is basically acting as a producer with respect to output side. Okay, so this way our both consumer and producer with respect to first application is clear to us. For consuming, we can basically just use a for loop for iteration. For producing, we can use this piece of code. Okay, right? Now let's see the working of this. So what I will do in output topic, the data will be produced by the first application. So let's start one consumer for the output topic so that we can see the data is going on, not really. So here to start the consumer for our output topic, I will execute this piece of code. Just a console consumer to see what data first is producing that is coming properly or not. Okay, that's all. So here I will paste and I will start my console consumer and now what I will do, I will start my first application. Okay. And then here what I will do, if you see here, it is ready. Now I will publish one message. Hope will not get any error. So here it is printed. Okay. Why it is printed? Because here we added print statement. But not only we are printing, but we are sending this greeting statement to another topic also. And that topic here we started, if you see here, greeting from ABC to EEF, it is perfectly coming. And that's the beauty of our first application. It is acting as a Kafka stream processor, continuously consuming input stream, processing it and publishing in output stream. Okay. Maybe I can publish something more from name as Ramu and to name as Samu 
for example see getting from number to sum in real time first is consuming and then publishing okay right and obviously this application will also be fail safe like for example i can abort this particular one okay and then here i can publish some more message when our first application is down maybe for example getting from name is one and the two name is two okay and then from name is three and the two name is four okay so these two greeting we sent when our first application is down now whenever we will start our first application again here you will see that that two statement came greeting from one to two greeting from three to four there is all the fail safe property is also there in this particular code okay so i hope you understood this this is all for my this video the code i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section you can go through that try to understand what is happening in what step try to implement this play with it and then the concept will be much more clear to you if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching